Let's assume Bill opens a restaurant and it becomes very popular, generating impressive profits. Unfortunately, it also generates a fair bit of noise and the neighbors start complaining. Eventually, the neighbors sue Bill and in most jurisdictions, a bureaucratic and also economic nightmare starts because 1. There are legal fees involved for Bill as well as the neighbors. 2. It can take a very long time until the courts make a decision and set it in stone. 3. Everyone ends up wasting a lot of time. Wouldn't it be great if a better alternative existed? Sure, and some people point to the Coase theorem, developed by Ronald Coase, and which states that bargaining between the parties will lead to an efficient outcome if certain conditions are met. In our situation, perhaps Bill would pay the neighbors for the inconvenience, or, on the contrary, the neighbors would pay Bill to relocate. No matter what the outcome is, it's all good as long as it's more efficient and hassle-free than suing, right? In theory, yes, with theory being the operative word. What many disregard is the fact that the Coase theorem requires parameters that are oftentimes unlikely to occur in the real world, such as 1. Bargaining costs being negligible 2. The parties needing to be operating under complete information 3. One entity not being asymmetrically more powerful than the other, and so on. As such, Coasean bargaining frequently falls short in the real world and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. As long as you treat it as a potential solution rather than a perfect one, you might be able to put it to good use. Just A. Don't assume it always works. B. Understand that it might work better under a different economic system than the one we have, broadly speaking, or under different market scenarios, granularly speaking. And C. Don't forget about the conditions associated with the theorem.